from the studios of the Carolina School of Broadcasting. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me. And we lit. We live here with Miss KP. Yo, I love this show. Wow, she is always on fleek. The Zodiac Queen. She is such a diva. What's up? It's KP Live, and I'm here Hi. with Miss KP. Hi. And I'm doing No Shave November. You can see that, too. Yeah. No hair on the face. None. I mean, plenty of hair on the face. Now, see, you done messed up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I meant to say, you can see it's a full head of hair on the chin, cheeks, and part of the neck. Well, speaking of people and their hairs and all this other this, that, and the third, Miss KP, what zodiac sign are we doing today? Well, today we are definitely talking about Pisces, the two fish. The two mm, fish. Yes, Pisces, two fish. They are bounded by the tail, and they're going in two different directions, trying to go in two different directions all at one time. And to all my Pisces, I'm sorry, but I had fish just last night, and it was delicious. <laughs> So I don't know if that was your cousin, your brother. <laughs> I mean, for all I know, it could have been your aunt, your aunt grandpappy. So I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I promise I will do it again next week. <laughs> yeah, good tuna fish probably. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about love for Pisces, money, and career, and your health. And it says good things about your loved one this week. Love being close, you're going to be closer together warm and particularly relaxed and allowed a sense of calm and cheerfulness and your humor adapting a positive perspective allows for a more sense of humor with will work wonders so be kind to each other That's today that is a lie because my cousin is a pisces and he fills my time with nothing but annoyance well well he loves you and your family and he feels he's entitled. So you gotta understand, Virgos and Pisces are really a match. So y'all do get along. Yeah, so, we do, we do. Uh, no, see, see. No, no lie, we do get along. But well, anyway, along. anyway, money, it talks about money this week. So it's saying that you, you're gonna indicate you need help keeping your cool about this because being over aggressive about what you need to want to others is, 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 is not gonna be good, but you gotta have restrictions and limitations that may make you feel like everything's personal now, but chances are they're really not. So be cool about money. Money comes and goes, it's up and down, it flows back and forth, so we do know about how money runs. And I'm pretty sure you know y'all love money. Again, I don't know how money runs because I keep running out of it. I keep telling y'all to give me some money. Y'all don't wanna do what I say. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Derek is having a moment about the M-O-N-E-Y word. One? I had six just last night. I told you I need some money. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, then I'm going to give you some money after the show, okay? Thank you. <laughs> that solved that real quick. That's the money issue. Money matters. Anybody give you some money, it solves your problems right immediately. Anyway, it says your career. Talk about your career now. The chances to make you some more money down the road. It says that you are a charmer. Sweet talking, always get you any, get you any door you want to get into, walk into rather yet, you're on fire. The jokes are pouring off your tongue effortlessly. So you're, you're acting like a happy child in happy. this place. Childlike attitude, making everyone around you feel good. So Miss Kim. The spell of success so is Ms. on you as far as your career is concerned. So, so you got Kim. that. You saying you saying that they they're happy? They're happy. They're getting what they want as far as their career. They, they you know they acting. I want this. I want that. And they they getting their feet in the door. So they're happy. Clap your hands if you feel like happiness is the key. Because they happy and I'm clapping all off beat. Because happiness is not my key. <laughs> I'm so crazy. But I love him. 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 I love Derek. He makes me feel really good about being happy. Speak, speaking of careers, guess who I got to interview today? Who? I got to interview Mr. Errol Collins. Oh, really? Yes, he's the, he's the director of Our Beats. 
And uh, if you don't know what R Beats is, you gotta check it out. It's called rbeats.com. It is definitely a site where underground musics, uh, music and musician, musicians can make their mark, bring their voice out. And I, uh, that video will also be posted on here. Errol Collins, we thank you so much for giving us yes. the chance to work with your with your company, RB. Thank you. And I and I Heart. We, I mean, Miss KP. Yeah. Her show is working with I Heart. Well, we worked with I Heart today. This, it it was amazing, and he was amazing. So, if you get a chance, check out this interview. Please check this out and support this channel. Support iHeart, support our uh, beats, support KP Live. We yes, need, please. Subscribe to this channel, like this channel, because we like all y'all. <laughs> despite despite me eating the Pisces fish. I meant the fish from Captain D's. <laughs> fish is fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love fish. I, I do really too. Do. That's why I'm doing your story today, because I love fish so much. And this is going on too about your health. It's something that you really do need to benefit. You really would benefit more for breathing exercises for your health. So stretch out those lungs and breathe in that good Prada and, and take it in. Because right now the weather is much cooler. And when it's not rainy, you can take a nice little walk and stroll in the yard or back on the, on the I guess, a uh, park or something. And just breathe in that good air and, and make it go in and out and fill your lungs up to your nostrils and take it in on good, warm, I mean, good, cool, sunny days. This is what uh, fall's all about to me. I don't know, I don't know about the Pisces fish health because the, the, fi the fish that I was with the other night was not healthy at all by the time I got done with it. It was just straight up not good. <laughs> well, this side I like to talk about is health with Pisces. So that should wrap it up this week about Pisces. So if you need to learn more, stay tuned with KP Live. Again, that's Miss KP Live. Subscribe and like our channel, and thank you for watching. So, Mr. Errol Collins, what exactly is R Beats? R Beats is an opportunity for master mixers, DJs, and for them to be heard because there's so much noise out there right now in the way of, but but you don't know where to go find it. For instance, like uh, Chris likes to do underground. Underground is not on major radio stations. So you're, you're not going to hear that, but you're going to hear the candy-coated stuff. And one of the things that we wanted to do on our beats was to give these DJs an opportunity to be heard as well as to be seen, to share their story on the website, and to use social media to help them, you know, to push them out there further. Oh, okay. Now, see, our beats isn't just a music website. It's, it's got other stuff too. Well, it's, what happens is, is that with, with our beats is that you've got to do what I call fishing and that you've got to get people to come to the website. So in servicing the artist, that you, you, I've got to be able to go and, and I'll do interviews with different musicians and actors and stuff like that because it brings people to the website so that somebody like Chris can be seen and heard. You know, the thing about, about EDM is that a lot of people, they, they label it right away, oh, I don't like it. it. To me, it reminds me of the days of disco because, oh, I don't like it, but they don't experience it. They don't understand that there are so many different styles of it available to them that once they experience it, I guarantee that they'll continue to come back to it. So where is it most popular at? You know what? It, I th it all depends what you like because, it, you know, I, I, I go through several different mood swings in a day. And so the, the style of sound is, is determined uh, by, by what it is that I'm listening to. So if I'm energetic, I'm not going to listen to what I call the AC EDM or, or what I, you know, like a really mellow show or anything like that. So that, and that's what I love about the EDM DJs and these, these mixers is that they, they, they will provide you the mood that you want to be in. You, and it's, it's all there, but you've, you've got to go someplace to find it. And that's what we're trying to do, is, is create a, a place where people can come to get it all. So who created our piece? Wendy did. It was Wendy's idea, and uh, Wendy stayed faithful to it and continues to stay faithful to it in, in the way that she had this vision uh, that beats are what people are trying to hear. Now, if you want to break that down even more, I, I talked with a drummer once, and he told me that the reason why people love beats and drums is because it resembles their mother's heartbeat. And so, so therefore, people are drawn to that style of music because it reminds them so much of where they came from. And, and so when, that's why I say if people would just give it an opportunity, give it a chance to be listened to, it really will bring something to your day. So it, you said it reminds them of their mother's heartbeat? Yeah, the drum beats. And, and the, yeah, if you, really, if you break down beats 
it, it, it really it reminds you of your mother's heartbeat because you're, you're inside your mother's womb and you're listening to your mother's heartbeat. It's, it's still a, a spiritual connection to your mother. That's what's up. So I got a question. We know about what RBC is. You just told us and everything like that. But what inspired Errol Collins to go into music and radio? Music and radio, the, the, the opportunity to connect with people. I believe that there's an invisible line between the artist and the listener, and radio people have the opportunity to connect that line, and, and that's the reason why I went into it, is I wanted to be that person that could bring both of them together. You've got a creative mind that's, that's got the music and the sound, and you've got listeners that don't know where it is. It's ultimately up to me as an honor talent to t show the way, to give people that opportunity to find it. How long have you been doing it? Too long. Too long? <laughs> 38, 38 years. Because I, I know you used to be the one that goes to go, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Still do. Yeah. yeah, I still do commercials like that. Absolutely. Well, uh, was, that was back in like the early 2000s when I heard it. Yeah, oh. the car commercials, uh, any, you know, Charlotte Motor Speedway commercials, things like that. I've, I've done them all. Uh, I've pretty much typecast myself into being that voice that, uh, that people want high energy commercials for. And uh, it's, it's tough to pull those off, especially if you're tired or if your vocals aren't there. You can, you can damage yourself pretty fast. Now, okay, so our, um, our, beast is the, our beast is a way to, for underground people to get their voice out, to get their talents heard and everything. Yeah, the first tier is the first tier is, but we also we have we now have a second tier that, and the second tier will be a little bit more of the Martin Garricks and will be the Axwells and things like that that are popular because as people grow with EDM, they 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 don't even know that it's dance music or EDM, but they come to the let's say the second tier and listen to the popular stuff, and then because of on the app and on the website, it'll take you to a Chris and you start digging deeper. You can't stay inside a genre of popular EDM and not want to explore. It's, it opens up the door for you to go find people that are in these clubs, and, and the clubs really are providing the, the, the real show. And they're affordable. These shows in the clubs are very affordable to go see and to experience. And they're, and they're right here in Charlotte. They're, in, in every city, there's a club. There's an underground club somewhere. There's always going to be a club. So what advice do you have to give young broadcasters? Any type of advice. What advice do you have from your years of coming up from from, you know, basically from nothing to Errol Collins, who's done these car commercials, who's been on these sites, who's met these celebrities. What advice do you have to give young broadcasters? Know who your listener is and know who the artist is and get all the attention off from you. It's not about you. All you are is a dot. You're connecting other dots together. You, you can't make it about you. And if you do, then, you know, sure, you can find success, but you're not going to be happy. Um, is there, I think that you need to make sure that you, you know that there's a destination for what you're doing, and that is creating that connection. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Collins, for uh, doing this for us. We hope that we have a chance to work with you again here at KP Live. And we hope you continue to do well and prosper with Arby.